Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today's layout is for Mix It Up Monday, where we do something different, and we have a sketch. And here's a sneak peek at what I'm doing. Yes, it's another wedding layout. This has a black and white photo. And so I start out with a piece of black cardstock, and this paper that has some copper on it, and I also have some copper paper there. At first, I think I'm going to use this hexagon um, stencil, but I do not. I have some strips torn there that are going to be part of the left-hand side of this. And first I traced some hexagons on there, and if I'd had a copper pen, I would have gone with that, but I did not. And painting them wasn't going to work. So I decided I wasn't going to use the white and the stencil. But I was going to punch out hexagons from the paper that has a copper texture in it and ink the or paint the edges with this copper paint from Shimmers called Penny in Your Pocket. I love this paint. If you watched my channel for a while, you've seen me use it before. And so I actually took time to sponge paint onto the edges of probably 30 hexagons. Yes, I did that. <laughs> it took a long time, but I don't mind. I am so thrilled with how this layout turned out that it was worth the time that it took. And so now I'm just using my T-square ruler to get started with these to be lined up. And I do basically three and a half columns of the hexagons and I leave a gap where the photo is going to be because why put them where I know they're going to be covered up and I actually end up adding a few half hexagons to the far left because I wanted I wanted the torn edges to um, not leave any black cardstock showing through and this just yeah, see how there's little bits showing there? That was going to bother me. And since I had already done so much with the hexagons, what's a few more? So I don't have you watch that. I mostly got rid of that. Here was a scrap of one that I had and I just tucked in and I decided, yeah, I need to do that. So there, everything, the hexagons are all glued down. I glued um, a strip of... It's cardstock from 49 and Market's collection called Botanical Garden. And then there's some copper paper. And then there's another strip. The black with white print is from 49 and Market Botanical Garden as well. So now, I, and I realize the copper paper, the torn copper paper, looks exactly the same color as the table that I work on. Now, if you remember in the sketch, there's some splatter on the right half of the page. So I pull out my splatter box. I cover up the hexagons and just take this same penny in your pocket and add some splatters to the right hand side. This is so pretty on the black paper. I wish you could see it in person. And then I set this aside for a little while to dry. So now I'm creating mats for the photo. Um, the copper paper is very lightweight, so it's kind of hard to distress the edges, but I get them good enough. And it doesn't matter that the paper is wrinkling because there's only a tiny little bit of it showing from behind the photo. Just barely sticking out there. Sorry, my head got in the way. Now I'm using the same 49 and Market paper that the torn strip is from on the left and creating another mat. Now the 49 and Market paper is really easy to distress the edges. It's nice and heavy and the edges just distress beautifully. I'm using um, MK's Edge Distressor from Some Assemblage Required. And if you do not have an edge distressor, I highly recommend this one. It works so well. I had no idea um, 
what a difference it would make until I got it. And I just love it. It stays on my table right in front of where I work at all times. This is not dry yet, so I set it aside again. And I'll go ahead and get this glued down. I was thinking this would be for part of um, the International Flowers Tour on Ginger's Corner. Um, and one of the prompts was black monochromatic, and you could have some other neutrals in there. But you also needed to have a seashell somewhere on the layout, and I could not figure out how to work a seashell into a, a layout about a wedding in Memphis, Tennessee. It just wasn't happening. So that part did not come to fruition. But now I'm just putting some scrap cardstock behind the photo. I put three layers back there so that it bumps it up. It's the only picture and I just wanted it to um, have a little more dimension. On the left hand side there, I have gone through some of my bins, my black and white bin. I also took some of the cardstock from 49 and Market and some of the copper paper and used some dies. One of them was from Elizabeth Craft Designs for the flowers. And then the little sprigs, leafy sprigs, are from, let me look, it's from Sizzix. It's a Sizzix Thinlets set. Um, and I actually got it on clearance for about six bucks at Hobby Lobby, and the original price was 23 so that made me happy. And the Elizabeth Craft Designs set for the flowers, I got at a scrapbook yard sale for five bucks. So first I had these on there and they were sticking up too high. So I pulled them off and some of them ripped, but it didn't really matter because most of it is going behind the photo. And I reattach them just so they're not standing out quite as much. I love these sprigs in this set. I use them often. Um, you can even use them on winter layouts. I really like them. They were a good $6 investment. There's flowers in there too, but they um, just didn't fit. The style of the flower didn't fit. This title, Beautiful Together, comes from a set of titles that I bought a long time ago from Creative Memories. And they are one of my favorite Creative Memories purchases. I wish they would come out with another pack that's similar because um, I really like those. And they're just weathered enough that they go perfectly on this layout. And some of the, there were, um, there was a die with little circles to be centers of the flowers, but some of them just seemed too big. So I just used my crocodile and punched a couple smaller ones, and I used those for the smaller flowers. Some of them I had trouble getting out. There we go. The other title that you see to the left, Dreams Come True, or Dream Come True, I almost used that as my title, but I liked the pretty cursive script in Beautiful and Together, and I liked that I could place them staggered a little bit, so that's what I went with instead. So the dream come true goes back in my black and white box or color bin. There I'm adding another circle to one of the little tiny flowers. There I think about this one, and I'm like, nope, I'm going to go here. Now in the sketch, there is a small embellishment cluster to the left of the photo, so that's what I'm creating now. I'm just adding a few sprigs and two of the flowers. I don't remember if I said it or not, but I cut the flowers from that same 49 and Market botanical paper. It was just the right touch for what I wanted. It's not pure white. It's not completely gray, but it's different enough from everything else that it stands out nicely. 
and it coordinates well with the Creative Memories title that's there. Adding a few dots of glue to this one, tucking it underneath. I was having trouble. There we go. Also on the left, you'll see I have some glassine bags and a little slide, which I thought I might use one of those bags, but I decided not to. Um, I still think it kind of might have looked nice right above the photo in the center, but I opted not to. And um, after I finished filming, I did add a little bit of splatter in that empty place right above the bride and groom there. There, so I had two more flowers and added those. I'm going, I had cut a couple of banners that I thought I might use, but I opted not to. Just going to put centers on these two flowers. I did not do journaling on this page, which I'm finding more and more as I work on the wedding album. Um, there's considerable amount of journaling on some of the pages already, and um, there will be one page that's mainly journaling that focuses on telling the story of the day and some important things. So I'm not bothered by there not being journaling on here. And that's different for me. Most of my pages are kind of heavy on the journaling, but this is one book with one purpose. And I think there's plenty for what I want. So there we go. I think this is the last little sprig that I'm adding. You can just barely see that I added part of a hexagon down in the bottom right. And there's just a couple sprigs and two small flowers there. And really they're just partial sprigs of the leaves and one of the flowers is cut down as well where it would come off the edge of the page. This is a page that I'm really, really happy with. It turned out better than I envisioned. I'm so grateful to um, Tara for putting on Mix It Up Monday because without that sketch and the mixed media on it and the single photo, this page would not have um, happened. And so I just, I really love it. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's one of my favorites that I've done in quite a while. And I sent a picture of it to the bride and groom and they liked it too. So that was fun. Just gluing down this title. Debating how I wanted it nested together there. And it is done. There are still shots coming up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so glad that you're here. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And I would love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you get to spend some time scrapbooking or making a craft soon. And again, thanks for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.